When Bernard and Dr. Susan Fontenar bought this 1930s Herbert Baker-style manor house in Stellenbosch, they reimagined it as their own new home and as a boutique events venue. It's a place where your inner child is free to play no matter your age. Hi, the Insider SA. I'm Sue and I am the owner of Le Grand Jardin and I would love to welcome you to our wonderland. Please come join us. The house has an organic style, inspired by travel and antique markets from England to Buenos Aires, Argentina. So this is the main entrance hall and the Amazonia wallpaper we love just because it brings the garden in and it has a sense of wonder as you come into the home. So what I really love about the center design is you have this lovely flow through. So when friends arrive at the front door, they already have the feel to go all the way through to the garden, which is where we do most of our entertaining. So initially when we first renovated the house, we had a very skinny Oregon pine staircase. And I contacted my friend in Stellenbosch and asked him if he had any old staircases. And he said, well, there's a Burmese teak staircase in a demolition yard in Joburg. But in the meantime, he also sent me pictures of the doors when I was asking for the staircase. And I said, but Mark, I don't need any doors. And he sent these original Burmese teak doors as well, which sort of open up the whole house. Anchored by this classic staircase, the remaining rooms show a free-spirited use of paint and pattern. This is the main bedroom. You can see from the wallpaper that we wanted to bring the garden in. My husband is a big fan of vervet monkeys and it's by African Sketchbook who run a great community project. So it, it also has a lot of heart in it. So the wooden headboard we wanted to bring in the sense of space from the garden so that everything is open. You can see the wooden shutters. If one of us is in the bath and we're chatting and the other one is maybe reading on the bed, it just gives a chance to have a bit more space in the bedroom. On the note of wood, I have the table that I inherited from my mum. It's a yellow wood table. The renovation called for architect Gerrit van der Wolf to keep one foot in the traditional and to step out colourfully with the other. So the brief was to add on en suites, a kitchen, and we added on the balconies and the en suites upstairs with the library downstairs. On the other end of the house, we have the lodger, which was an existing structure. We found that it was quite high up from the main lawn and so we added on uh, nice stairs that fan out into the garden and a terracing stair to pull people onto the main lawn. Her roots being firmly in African soil, Susan identifies with these great trees and Gerrit had to work around that. The challenge with the glass house was that I was instructed to wrap it around an existing oak tree and we had to obviously protect the roots the feeding of the tree so that it doesn't die. So we decided, opted on a, uh, a suspended concrete slab for two thirds of the structure with a, the last third being in timber so that we can place irrigation underneath to keep the tree drip area wet. So while this is our private home, we do travel a lot. So we love that other people can come and enjoy the space. So we rented out as Le Grand Jardin so you could either have multi-generational families or you could have that special day and have a micro wedding for the weekend. So this is a drawing room where we spend quite a bit of time, especially in winter with friends, having coffees after dinner and just chatting. We have behind us a bit of like a library space and that was actually an addition onto the main house. So it just opened up the house a little bit and then we also have a study off to the right, which just gives us space if you want to have like a quiet meeting, Zoom call, whatever. The blue in the room, I think it lightens up the room. It brings a sense of fun into the room. As you can see, we're very big on color. And I, I really think you shouldn't be afraid of color when you're doing design. So let me take you through to the blue lounge which is where we spend quite a bit of time after dinner having coffee or a late night drink. You can see it's in quite a midnight blue, but we also wanted to warm it up a bit because we use it mainly in winter time. So we've 
brought in this lovely copper, which with the crystal chandeliers really offsets the color and creates like a nice warm enveloping space. We also bought this old love seat, which we found in an old secondhand store in Cape Town. And it's a bit tatty, but it actually brings a bit of a patina to the room, which invites people to relax. So it's not too formal. And you'll also see in the background is the beautiful craftsmanship, which is also South African design. And I just love the beadwork that they've done on the, the seat and the feathers. And the next room is my husband's favorite room, which I like to call the man cave, but he calls the wine bar. Let me take you through. So here it's all paneled in leather, and you'll see the quotes. They do have a lot of meaning for us. So you can see there's always a sense of play because I think life is too serious. And these steps head down to Alice in Wonderland Magic Hall, where the wine cellar is. And that's definitely my husband's favorite place which may have to do with Swiss-raised Mr. Fontana having joined the family winemaking tradition at 14. So they're never short of something good to pair with lunch or dinner. Welcome to the kitchen. So this is where we spend most of our time just as a family or just having coffee with friends. The work table is really functional. We sit around here a lot and just chat. And then we've also put some wallpaper into the cupboards just because we have some beautiful roses outside when it's season. And we've picked those up, it reflects once again the garden into the kitchen. We brought in the black and white tiling from the hallway so it runs all the way through and keeps the flow going. And then we also have some handmade tiles behind the arga. And the arga is fantastic during winter, we keep it on all winter and the dogs hang around and sleep on the couch. So that's probably why we spend so much time here. It is in the couple's garden that they have given free reign to their imagination, creating a fantasy world of the natural kingdom. When we first came to this like property to view it, it just initially brought to mind the idea of Alice in Wonderland, which I've always loved reading as a kid, because you've got all of these many pathways going around, either around the dam or into the garden. And it does give you a sense of being able to get a little bit lost and not worry about the real world when you're in the garden. So the original formal garden was mainly there when we bought the house. So you have the big square lawn in the front, and that's really great because you have the kids in the swimming pool running up and down. And then we fixed up the staircase so that it was on the center line heading down to the dam. So I think that's an invitation to go and explore. And it's a beautiful pathway, you can walk down, and then you also have a walkway all the way around the dam, which is great for after work just to relax, look at the lilies, look at the water. So it's a great spot. So originally when the drought hit in Cape Town, we realized that we couldn't have lawn all the way around at the back of the house. So we then put in a wild meadow, which is more sort of indigenous plants and can sustain itself. The traveler's caravan came all the way from the UK. My husband found it. I wasn't quite sure how we were going to get it here, but he fell in love with it because of the attention to detail in the caravan. The carousel also came from the UK. My husband also found it in, I think, the same place. And I also wasn't sure how we were going to get it here and how we were going to reconstruct it. But we were very lucky that we found one of the craftsmen that could put it all back together as it was originally meant to be. Taking the idea of renewing your vows to the next level, for their silver anniversary, the couple built a testament to their enduring love. A chapel is a symbol, like anything in life. We like to have symbol and image. So chapel, in fact, is a gift from uh, Susie, my wife, for our 25th uh, wedding anniversary, just to make it substantial, to make it symbolic, and to give essence to what is a relation, which is an ever-growing one. A lot of pieces have their own story, and when you look back now, you remind you of where we were, how we found it, and why we created that. In fact, it's 
It's almost like a photo album. You go through it and it reminds you a lot of the good times, the good experience, sometimes a frustrating one because life is not always easy, let's face it. But when you see the end result, as far as house or as far as our relation, you say, gosh, that is something. I love the idea that Bernard said it's a bit like a memory book, but it's also the evenings you've had with friends, the birthday parties we've had with our boy, those are all buried into your home. And I think that you need to take into account when you are renovating a home or even designing a home. It's nearly a book of memories. And for its lead characters, Susan and Bertrand Fontenot, here's to no end of new chapters being written in their storybook of adventures at La Grand Jardin. Another feel-good production.